This week in West Virginia, the Department of Transportation announced the upcoming interstate widening project between the Merritt's Creek and Huntington Mall exits on I-64 in Barbersville. This is a major corridor between two of our major cities, uh, Charleston and Huntington, to, to increase the capacity of this highway through here uh, to, a, to modern, efficient standards. Uh, makes all the difference in the world to communities such as Barbersville and uh, Milton and, and those kind of areas. Governor Jim Justice and officials with the DOT also announced a roundabout project that will significantly improve traffic flow to the city of Williamstown in Wood County. We are only on the launch pad. We have crawled out of a hole beyond belief and we're on the launch pad. And now we need to really go. There's so many opportunities. The Division of Motor Vehicles partnered with the TSA to stress the importance for West Virginians to get their real ID compliant licenses before they're required to board an airplane in October of 2020. Governor Justice addressed dozens of transportation professionals, including engineers and state highways leaders, at the American Council of Engineering Companies of West Virginia. West Virginians will soon be able to purchase back the blue license plates in support of law enforcement. And First Lady Kathy Justice unveiled the 2019 state Christmas ornament made with West Virginia steel. You can find more on these stories and many others in our West Virginia Week in Review newsletter.